Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored the Brigmore Witches. This mission is going to be way longer and way more involved than most of the, the DLC missions, especially the ones we've done in the Brigmore Witches so far. And it's going to start off with a brawl between the eels and... Oh, not the Bottle Street Gang, the, uh, the Hatters. And in fact, a lot of this mission is going to involve navigating their conflict. They'll, ooh, speaking of which, they'll turn hostile upon seeing you if they're just standing about. But mostly, they're going to be brawling amongst themselves. And that's kind of one of the fun parts about it. Because you're just navigating their conflict in which you can very easily end up uh, collateral damage. And it's going to be the Hatters, the Eels, and a third group we'll be introduced to later. Uh, this is from our anonymous friend. It's that rune uh, dropped off in the storm drain, fell off the back of a wagon. We uh, purchased that as a favor. One of a few. Uh, the other favor we're going to come up to once we switch to the next district at the riverfront, which we'll do in just a moment. We just have to sneak around the, per the perimeter of the ditch. We can even help this guy out. Just make it quick. No murder on our watch. If you're here to kill me, make it fast or get lost. He really could have shown a little more gratitude. Is there anything up here? No, there's a painted on door. In fact, I don't think there's been a death in a while. Has there been any deaths at all in this DLC for us? Uh, anyway, we're going to get to the second favor, which... Shit, just barely avoided getting caught there. We are almost certain to get caught at least once in this mission. And we're just going to have to gun for the door. Didn't get seen. Great. So we managed to uh, get to the Draper's Ward Riverfront. Which is going to be one of the main points of interest, but not the only one. This one takes us all over the place. And it's a lot of back and forth as well. Yeah, even Lizzie never drowned victim. Sack. Edgar Wakefield is on board the Undine. He's put all of the eels on alert since Lizzie's rumored to have escaped from Coldridge. He's expecting her. You will undoubtedly be a surprise to him. So our very first main objective in this mission is to help Lizzie exact revenge on her uh, mutinous second mate, second in command, uh, Wakefield. And he is somewhere below deck on her ship. Wakefield's probably keeping himself below deck. Which, for the time being, Whatever he's commandeered. It will be a mercy compared to what Lizzie has in mind. And while he is in command of the ship, everyone in this area by the dock uh, is going to be hostile. himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath for dumping contraband if they get caught. Perhaps the Undine is no different. There you go. Uh, so I think the dialogue is meant to indicate that there is a way to approach other than just going from the top of the ship and then heading below deck to the cargo hold. I think what he is saying there is that you can actually swim up from underneath, open up that hatch, uh, and get to the cargo hold from there. It's actually not the worst idea, given how heavily patrolled the deck of the ship is. This is the second time now. I see something, or someone, out of the corner of my eye. But when I turn, they're gone. Someone is watching us. That's just a bit of foreshadowing for later. Something or someone is watching them, and... Where? Oh, shit, I almost got spotted from all the way down there. Uh, first, there's the matter of the sunken crate to attend to. The other favor that we purchased. Uh, there's a small supply cache buried underwater down here. And some darts. And ink. Why did I just... Oh, shit. 
Why do I keep getting popped up like this? Shit. I didn't want to get nibbled on anymore by the fish. Not what I want. Oh, I think there was a bone charm that I missed. That's why that objective marker is still there. There's an ingot, there's some spiritual remedies, an elixir, um, and the bone charm. Which, I think it's the bone charm that gives you mana when you drink from a fountain, which I never do, so it's not that big of a deal. Right, so who do we have on deck? We have one, two, three different guards, if I remember right. There's one, the stairs lean down to the cargo hold, there's two, and then there's three over on the right. So really quickly, we're gonna get upstairs to hide the body before anyone can patrol back and see us down there. We're pretty safe up here. Uh, the engine's not going to start yet, and then there is a way to sound the horn as well. We're going to be taking advantage of both of those later in the mission. For now, we have to do a little bit of watching and a little bit of waiting for when their patrols aren't going to cover each other, like right now. Blink twice, just to be certain. Rather be safe than sorry this other one. I don't want her turning around and having seen me. <coughs> okay, her back is to me. Yeah, let's just be safe again and get her. That takes care of everyone on the deck of the ship. Except, I think there's one more dude who I kind of want to deal with. He d He's not in, like, the main part of the deck. But I just don't want to get surprised by him at any point. So I think I'm going to wait for him to patrol up here. Oh, and he's being very kind. I don't know if he'll come all the way forward. So we're going to back up. And I think he stopped just short. And now we'll wait for him to turn around. Perfect. Shouldn't get spotted by the one on, uh, on the dock. And then just... Careful, we're gonna plant this guy up here instead of just leaving him where he was. Because someone would have at some point probably seen the body. Now there might be an extra dude alongside Wakefield down here. So we're gonna be a little cautious. There's, if I'm not mistaken, Wakefield. Or that might be a plus one. Hmm. A little nervous. It's like Thought I remember there being another guy. No, we're good. Time to signal, Lizzie. So we can leave Wakefield here. We can just knock him out and then go back above board. And the hatch that uh, Thomas was talking about is right down here. Uh, you can probably open that from the other side underwater. Only problem, you get a. You get less of a good view. So, if you pop up from that hatch, uh, and Wakefield just happens to be looking at you, that can be messy. Lizzie Stride is assuming control of the dead eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Your friend Edgar Wakefield set me up to be taken by the City Watch, and you followed him took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But the following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. That piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. Ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the Hatter gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. 
There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The gazer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So they're real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back. <coughs> so it's not as easy as just taking care of Wakefield. We have the boat back, and that means that everyone in uh, in this area by the dock is now neutral towards us, so we can run around freely. And we have one less faction to deal with spawning us outside as well. The only problem is now we have to get ooh, to the textile meal, the mill. And recover an engine coil. Now you see these guys out here, they're now neutral with me, so it's fine to just come out here in the open and loot some other stuff. We also have a barricade erected so uh, none of their enemies can get in. And we're eventually going to run back into trouble once we get inside the textile mill. You can hear the crackle of an arc pylon. But we can just blink past that up to the upper floor. I heard he was a cheat. Let me just a few. And get caught out when the dead eels come across the What's the password? Whalebone. Come in, Hatter. So we will be welcomed in just like we were a Hatter. Sir. The Hatters are using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal. So this is getting more complicated by the second. She had Corvo Otano with her. We need an engine coil, but the person who knows where the engine coil is uh, is an old man who, if he dies, the whole place is going to flood with some kind of neurotoxin and kill everybody. So we're kind of at his mercy. And you know that he's not going to just give this up for free. This man has a key on him that I didn't know about. That's a really handy one. Huh. That's really good to have. Uh, so what we're going to do is take this way in by going across the pipes and on to the roof of this other building. And then there's an open skylight that lets us drop into the mill. And I think there's also a rune in here. Well, not here, but the adjacent room. I think this one? Okay, nobody's gonna bust in on me. Yeah, you can hear it right away as soon as you enter the room. Oh, yeah. Let's just get a rat fetus. Like, that's the most normal thing in the world. And our rune, which... We should have had more than enough by now. We should have gotten more than enough by now. To get that second level of bend time, which turns it into the full time stop. And we can now summon an assassin as well to help us out. And nothing else I want for now. Ooh, hello. I should probably. Hmm. No, I don't want to mess with him. Plus, I don't know who else is around the corner, if anyone. So we can go up this way, head up the stairs, and into one of the main rooms at the mill. 
This one involves so many patrols and so many blind corners. It's one of the rooms that I will almost inevitably get caught in. Shit like that. Oh, I'm done. Unless, unless, unless they don't see me yet, right? Or, well, they see me. They just aren't sure that I'm an intruder. God damn it, that doesn't take the te the, uh, the the key that I just picked up. That lifted off the guard. Oh, this is getting bad. Because now they're hostile. Right? Uh, and even though I was moving around in the stop time, they could still somehow zero in on my location instead of going to my last known location. That's not the right spell. Oh, no. This is messing me up because it was seven, I think, in the Knife of Dunwall, and it's been eight all throughout Frigmore Witches. My name's Dowd. I'm looking for Lizzie's drive missing engine coil. I'm giving you a chance to make a deal. Is it worth our treasure making a day on that? Hmm. Yes, sir. Very reasonable offer. Geezer here says you're in love. We only need that engine coil because someone shut off the flow that turns our water wheel. I sent men into the sewers to restore the flow, and not one of them came back. But what stopped them won't be a problem for the famous Dowd, will it? When the water flows, I'll give you the engine coil. Here's the key to the sewer entrance, and it's a pleasure to do business with you, Mr. Dowd. The Hatters will behave themselves. As long as you keep your end of the bargain down. So now the Hatters will also uh, treat us as a neutral party while we're in the mill. Trying to uh, work this out for the old man, which we'll do next time. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.